Aloha YouTube, what is up? Untitled Way here, back again with another Beater Box episode, Sneaker Mystery Box. This mystery box right here is a $1,300 mystery box and it is from Soul Supremacy. Very excited to open this up. I actually had it for I think like three weeks now, but as some of you guys saw that I did have COVID like the last two weeks, it was freaking horrible. Crazy fevers, coughing, sore throat, all of the mix with that. But I actually sound pretty good now and I feel a lot better. So we're opening this up today. Uh, anyway, before I get into it, as a heads up to you guys, if you guys are new to the channel, if you guys wanna cop any of the shoes in this box, they will be listed on untiedhawaii.com. Channel members get first access to it on Saturday and then it is open to the public on Sunday. So if you guys want discounts and stuff, make sure you guys join as a channel member down below. Supports me, supports the channel, and you guys can get some great discounts on shoes. Anyway, let's see what we got today. $1,300. And let's see, we got a sh pair of shoes without a box over here. And we're starting it off hot with a pair of Kobe 11s. Anyway, this one is a size 11, my size too. Oof, I might have to keep this one. This one is sick. And this sneaker definitely has like a bread vibe going on with that black and red. I do want to say that it has like an Ares or God of War kind of theme too, because you can see this like Spartan helmet kind of stuff on the back. This is a knit upper, so it's also very comfortable if you guys are interested in like balling out in low top shoes. Ball Bottoms, eh, a little bit dirty, so it has been used, but overall, this is a very sick pair of sneakers, and as you guys know, the Kobe market is definitely still good, so I expect this is a great way to start off the box. Next one, this could be interesting. We have a New Balance box over here. I've been getting really into New Balance for whatever reason. I guess I'm getting hit with that dad shoe vibe recently because I am a dad now, so maybe that's what it is. Oh gosh, and this one is in a size 11. That's my size. What New Balance do we have here? Come on, something good, something good. Ooh, this is interesting. So it's a pair of those 550s. Oh, and it's in dead stock condition too. Nice, nice, okay. So these aren't the collab pair, unfortunately, but this is still a nice pair of sneakers. 550 in like a mustard yellow colorway. Uh, you guys can see it does have that tag, as I mentioned, so it is dead stock, brand new. Hasn't been worn over here. And I do love the color yellow, but this mustardy yellow, uh, I'm not sure if I'm feeling it per se, but if you guys have never worn a pair of 550s before, these things are super comfortable, man, and it is pretty stylish, <laughs> in my opinion, at least. I do have a pair of these myself, not in this colorway. It's actually the M.A. Leon Dor green colorway, evergreen colorway. Good shoe, very good shoe. All right, we got a good mix so far. Next up, we have a pair of Yeezy 350s right here. This one is in a size 11 and a half. And for the colorway, it looks like we have a pair of the Yeezy Butters. Probably one of my most hated colorways on a Yeezy 350. I don't know, I'm just not a big fan of this one. You guys can see up close too, this one is a used pair. Uh, the uppers look perfectly fine. I don't see any issues on there. There's no like uh, tears or cuts or anything on like that. The bottoms are definitely worn, but the boost is still very much intact. I don't see a lot of like wear on this at all. So that's very good to see. That means there is a lot of life left in this one. So if you guys are into Yeezys, this is probably a really good one. Just not a colorway that I'm that into. All right, so let's get into some Jordans now. We got a Jordan box right here. This might be a Jordan 11 too, if we get lucky. Nah, Jordan 12, size 8.5. And ooh, still a nice pair, guys. These 12s actually have like a Spider-Man vibe going on with this red. I like that. And this one is very lightly worn. Uh, I can definitely tell it has been worn a little bit. The suede is a little bit damaged up here, but overall, I mean, this thing is in very good condition. Bottoms look immaculate, so they might have cleaned it up right before they sold it. A little bit of sock linen in there too, which is a giveaway that it has been worn. And again, the suede tongue, you can see a little bit of wear right there next to that jump man as well. So this is another nice pair. I do like the colorway on that a lot, size 8.5. We got four shoes left in here. So let me grab this one. It's another, oh, Yeezy 700, not a Yeezy 350. This one is a 10 and a half. And for the colorway, let's hope for something good. <laughs> Dude, this is my most worn sneaker. As you guys know, this is a pair of Yeezy Wave Runners right here. I have my own pair over there, size 10 and a half too. And that is definitely my most worn sneaker like currently in the rotation in 2022. Weird because I was cranking on Yeezys a lot. And I think when this one first came out, like if you guys go back into the archive of videos, I was definitely making fun of these based off of the look and all of that. But taste change guys, opinions of sneakers change. And I don't know, for whatever reason, I do feel these a lot now. This one is in great condition too. And I can attest, one of the best, like most comfortable pairs of Yeezys on the market. Uh, 700 Wave Runner, the OG colorway. I don't know, man, whatever it is, this colorway just works so well. Doesn't stand out too much in terms of color, but the uniqueness of it just makes it like pop in my opinion. Um, definitely has been worn, but these are nowhere near as worn as mine. <laughs> so you know what? I might have to trade out my pair and switch into this one. This one is not too bad at all. And I believe that the resale price and stuff is still very good on this, at least 300 bucks. And it's crazy because these have restocked like six times already, but still they Hold good resale value. Okay, I like that. I'm excited now. Uh, we got three shoes left in here. This one is a Nike box, and this. 
This one is a size 8.5 Nike Dunk High Women's. Ooh, and we got a pair of the Syracuse Dunk Highs. Nice. This one is in worn condition as well. But again, as with the theme of the box, it does look like it's in lightly worn condition. So that's great. Up close on this, the leather is still very, very good. Little bit of creasing over the toe box over here. The bottoms are definitely dirty, but not a lot of wear. The stars are good over here, and the heels don't look like there's any heel drag, so that's great. Syracuse, the Syracuse colorway is actually a really good colorway for the Dunk Highs, too. That orange is really nice. So, this is another great pair to see in the box. Two shoes left in here. Uh, this one is a Yeezy 500, so we pretty much have seen all the Yeezys now 350, 700, and 500. This one is a size 10, and for the color, oh, what the heck? And this must be like a theme box that we have going on because literally this is the other shoe when I was working like my nine to five job that I would wear every single day like this colorway exactly and this model Yeezy 500 that taupe colorway it's very very nice and very comfortable I've said it like a million times literally like on this past Monday episode that the 500s one of the most comfortable models ever made and this taupe colorway is great I love this one a lot textures on this shoe are really good it's like a mix of like mesh suede a bit of leather on here as well just overall a really well-made shoe even though it does look kind of like weird and I agree it does look kind of weird but it is very comfortable Adaprene sole over here and you guys can see it does have a little bit of wear on the bottom So this is very interesting size 10 I can't fit but highly recommend that to anybody in terms of like style It's nice and it's just a very overall comfortable shoe and the last shoe in here I'm hoping that this is a big one. It's a Jordan box throwback silver box Jordan 12 size 10 and we're ending this mystery box with I don't even know <laughs> What the heck color is this man? This is an interesting one and this one might be in dead sock condition too, which is really interesting I'm not a big fan of Jordan 12s and this colorway is interesting to me I mean it's like an all-white upper but it looks like it's very old just because of like this plastic part right here it does look like it's faded or worn down due to age discoloration and it does make sense because when I check the size tag in here it is from 2009 it might be dead stock because I don't see any like dirt on the bottom of this as well and the leather in here is perfectly intact does not look like it's been worn so this is a very interesting one it could fetch a lot of money but it definitely will take the right buyer just because the shoe is 13 years old now. So not a lot of people in the market for this, but for the people that are, it might be a good steal because it is brand new and it's been new for 13 years. Kind of insane nobody wore it for that long. Anyway, that is it for this mystery box. First mystery box after the break. And I gotta say, it feels like it's a pretty solid box. For 1300, we got a bunch of Yeezys. We got all good brand name shoes. Nothing like super obscure. We got a couple dead stock sneakers in here as well. And I would say that this is gonna fetch a decent amount of money, but if not, we gotta just stick with it and hopefully the next box is better. And hopefully you guys are around for the next box guys if you guys are new to the channel don't forget to hit subscribe down below like the video if you guys are interested in the mystery box series i've been making these videos for four years now and i definitely want to keep making them if you guys want to see more content different value boxes different companies if you guys know any companies that are selling sneaker mystery boxes that are reputable and legit comment them down below and i can try out a mystery box for you guys there anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video and until next time guys stay humble stay blessed take care and i will see you on the next episode aloha shoot